Hey guys, it's your boy Fiscon here with another video on the Steam Deck, and this time it's about a game called Creeper World, Creeper World 4 in particular. Uh, it's made by an individual. He made four of them so far, if you could guess. And it's a lot of fun. It's this real, uh, it's a real neat strategy game where you have to stop the advancing creep, which acts like water, and uh, destroys everything in its path, and your goal is to kill it and its sources and move along the galaxy. And it has its own quest line and all that, but it also has, um, so here's the quest. I haven't beat it yet, but um, I spent more, the, more time watching playthroughs than I have actually beating the game, which sounds weird, but anyways, you can go to Colonies and you can play player-made maps and stuff like that, and that's what we're going to do today. And so this game, I like it. Uh, I like it a lot, actually. I played it for a while on the PC, but I never really kept with it. I stopped playing after a while. I feel like that's just going to change because this is one of those games that I would bring along to play on the go because it's relaxing. The noises, like the audio, the sound is really soothing once you start getting your guns up. I don't know. It's just weird. It's a fun game. But um, the interesting thing is there was no Steam Deck set up made already so i gotta make my own so if we go over here look in community layouts um even if we hit show all layouts there is no um community layout for the steam deck now i thought i shared mine um it, it might be in there and i just can't see it because it's mine i don't know but i shared it so if you find it it's called creeper world 4 steam deck controls and so to go over this real fast your l4 is the r key your L5 is an action set, so you hold L5 and it changes the right uh, touchpad to a radial wheel while you're holding L5. And what you can do in this radial menu is it gives you keypad numbers one through nine. And uh, I haven't figured it out yet, but I plan to incorporate a way to um, set squads one through nine. I just have not figured it out. I might include it with the action key where that one the action key is enabled and you select units, you can then assign it. I'm just, I just gotta figure it out, but moving on. So right now that's per useless for everyone, but it will be useful eventually. Then uh, R4 is the C key, that's gonna reset your camera. So if you hold L4 and then you move the mouse, pa mouse pad over here, the, you'll be able to tilt pan your screen. That's what the, the L4 is for. R5 is just shift. And we go over here, ignore that, sorry. Add edit layout, our buttons, so P is pause, it's set to the down arrow, and then the A button, space is like the backup key, so when you're in a menu, or I'm sorry, when you're placing buildings or selecting units, you hit B to unselect everything, and then X is to delete, I'm double checking that now, and then Y is F. All right, and then for the bumpers, the scroll wheel down and up, these are incremental, so you have to click, 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 click to, to continue. And then our back grips, which we just went over. And our menu button, so the escape key acts as the menu button as well. So you hit it twice to get rid of the menu. Or if you're deep in the menu, you just keep hitting this until you get back out. And then on the left one is your tab key. All right, down to the D-pad. So the D-pad is how we manage all our time-based settings. So to the right is to go faster, to the left is to go slower, down is to pause. I haven't said anything for the up one. It's really open to you. You can also modify the F key and the X key. The Y and the X aren't really that important. And then for the trigger, we're gonna go with the mountain blade setup where you right click to select or you, or I'm sorry, you right trigger to select or you click on the mouse pad. Damn it, trackpad, sorry. And then down here for the other side is just the opposite. So joysticks don't have much going on. Your, your right one and left one act as your right one acts as a joystick mouse and your left one acts as a joystick directional pad with WASD just like mountain blade then you click to hit shift if you want to or you hit the L5 and then trackpads this is where it gets interesting so the the right trackpad is set up like normal right now and then the left trackpad is also a radio wheel and it's got regular like the top of the keyboard one through nine and then it has F1 through four because these go through your build menus, which I'll show you in the game. It just takes out a lot of moving the mouse. And then if you if we go ahead and go to the next action set, you can see where I've included the radial menu on the right trackpad. I'm thinking about setting it to the left, but we'll get there later. All right, so for now we can just back out of here. 
And so we're in a game. So this is just the map I downloaded. I think it's literally called Simple Level. Yeah, right there. And so here's that trackpad in, in use, right? So the one through nine, right? This is to select in the top left corner what unit you want to build. So where my mouse is, if I hit one, it pulls up the cannon. I can zoom in real quick. So one selects me the cannon, two selects the mortar, three is the sprayer, four is the sniper, five is the missiles and so on. So then the nullifier is six. But if we hit F1, it changes our tab to structure. If we hit F2, it goes back to weapons. Three is air and then four is special. And then I can add a five in there, but at the moment I only have, I can add as many as I want, but at the moment it's set to these four. And so if we go into one, we can then select tower. The one thing we haven't set up yet is a way to activate the factory and the urn port with a hotkey because they're, I guess they're one-time buildables, much like the command center. So that just means we can't, they're not in a menu like that. So I can't just simply go and set them on the bar. But what I can do is set this up. So this just makes it easier to select uh, your units, your buildings, what you want to what structures you want to do. The idea is that the other side will have the same thing. So if I hit that L4, I can then select my preset units, right? But at the moment, I can't figure out how to set units in squads with hotkeys using the Steam Deck, and that's just a matter of time. And then, um, and then if you know how, if you've played this before, a lot of times you just do this thing where you click place and then run all the way down and place a line of buildings yeah you still do that all you do is click and hold and you're good to go and then you can click a to unpause or down arrow to unpause i did down arrow because and a because in other games i use a like kenshi i use a by default so i just did that for some consistency but then over here on the d-pad i did it as well so that way i can fast forward and slow down and then immediately pause if for some reason i realized I wasn't paying enough attention and then I was gonna die. So I just, my thumb's already there, right? But anyways, so that's the primary keys and you're pretty much set at this point. All you have to do is play. The only buttons you really have to worry about is setting up your factory and then setting up your urn port. And then you just, you just do your thing. And once you get used to this wheel, you'll be all set because then you can just play stuff whenever, wherever, however. sound I gotta turn it all the way down I will say I'm far more accurate with a mouse. I'm pretty accurate with this touchpad, but I'm far more accurate with placement with a mouse for sure. But that only makes sense, you know? If I wasn't accurate with a the mouse, that'd be kind of weak. What is shooting? I don't have any guns, do I? Or is that... Oh, this building. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, they're getting completed. But yeah, this just really shows the viability of, um, creeper world on the steam deck and it's it's a game that reads as playable and it says it has a lot of issues but in reality you just gotta you gotta get in there and make a keybind and you're good to go there i've not had any issues maybe like putting in names for levels would be a little bit of a pain because then you'd have to activate the on-screen keyboard and then type but anytime you activate the on-screen keyboard it's a it's a pain <laughs> it, it's easy it's easier than most would think but it's still not what's going on here Oh, is it not reach? I gotta get used to using the menu. The radio menu. But yeah, so the idea is that I'd be able to select maybe a squad of these guys and then hit this button and then s assign them to a hotkey and then utilize that hotkey throughout the play. Like when you're using the aerial units, I'd be like, oh, I wanna change this squad, click, and then select my new target. That's what I wanna end up with, but it's gonna take a little more time because I'm not quite sure how to do that. But yeah, that was just a, a way to show you guys that, hey, 
Creeper World 4 not only runs fantastically, but uh, it's already got an easy way to set up hotkeys. I mean, you're good to go. You just download this community layout and you rock and roll. You can play your Creeper World no problem. Kick some ass. Have fun. Thanks, guys.